This is Rika. Welcome to today's class. It's especially for those who are out there surfing the waves, but of course everyone can join. I would like to start with a short meditation. So I invite you to come into a comfortable seated position, roll your shoulders back, place your hands onto your knees, palms facing up. Close your eyes or soften your gaze and take a deep breath here. Start to notice your breath, how it flows through your nostrils. Into your belly. And out your belly, out your nostrils. Maybe you notice the temperature of your breath. With every inhale, new, fresh, cooler air goes through your nostrils into your belly. And with every exhale, you breathe warmer air out your belly, out your nostrils. Maybe you start to notice the sound of your breath. Can you hear the soothing sound of waves, like in the ocean, swelling, creating sounds in equal distances, building up a new wave with every inhale, and breaking it shore with every exhale? With your next inhale, with the power of water, breathe gratitude into your body. And exhale anything that scares you right in this moment. Take a moment to think of three things you are grateful for today. May it be a healthy body or a family member. With your next exhale, I want you to let go of everything and come back to notice the waves of your breath. Maybe you can notice a change in your breath or in the way you're seated. Or maybe nothing has changed at all. Slowly find your way back into the room, into your surroundings, onto your mat. Notice how the air around you is filled with fresh air that you can inhale.
And when you feel ready, slowly start to open your eyes. Get used to the light in your room. Maybe roll your shoulders back one more time. Take a deep breath here. We will start today's practice in standing, Tadasana. So find your way to the front of your mat with your feet hip distance apart. Your legs are engaged, your pelvis is in neutral, your core is engaged, shoulders are rolled back, hands to the side. With your next inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Place your palms together and with your next exhale, Bend your upper body to the right side. Make sure that your hips stay above your feet. Your shoulders are rolled down. Your head is between your upper arms. Breathe here. With your next inhale, Reach back into center and with your exhale, bend to the left. Again, hips above your feet, ears between your upper arms, shoulders rolled down. Breathe here. With your next inhale, come back to center, reach your arms up, exhale, release your arms to the side. Inhale, lengthen your neck and exhale, lower your head to the right shoulder and exhale all the way to the left. Again, inhale here, exhale all the way to the right. Inhale here. Exhale to the left, inhale here, exhale to the right. If you want, you can do full circles, inhale here, exhale all the way through the back to the left side, again inhale here, exhale through the front to the left. Do a few more in your own pace. Don't forget to change direction and breathe while you do this neck exercise. With your next inhale, bring your head back to center. Make sure that your feet are either hip distance apart or big toes touching, heels slightly apart. Your legs are engaged, your pelvis is in neutral, your core is engaged, your shoulders are rolled back. And with your next inhale, reach your arms up, exhale, forward fold. In your forward fold, you can bend your knees, inhale, half lift, exhale, place your hands underneath your shoulders, step back into high plank, inhale here. Exhale, shift your weight forward and lower yourself to Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, Urva Mukha Svanasana, Upward Facing Dog. Exhale, Adho Mukha Svanasana, Downward Facing Dog. If this is your first Downward Dog today, walk your dog. Bend one knee at a time. Take some deep breaths here. With your next inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees and step to the front of your mat. Exhale, Uttanasana, forward fold. Inhale, Ada Uttanasana, half lift. With your next inhale, come all the way up, reach your arms up. Exhale, hands to heart center. 
release your arms to the side. One breath here. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ada Uttanasana, half lift. Exhale, place your hands underneath your shoulders, step back into high plank. Inhale here. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe here. With your next inhale, lift your heels up, bend your knees, step or jump to the front of your mat, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ada Uttanasana, half lift, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up, exhale, hands to heart center, arms to your sides. One breath here. Inhale, reach your arms up. If you want, do a slight bend in your back. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, Ada Uttanasana. Exhale, place your hands underneath your shoulders. Step back into high plank. Inhale here. Exhale, Chaturanga Dandasana. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe here. With your next inhale, Lift your heels, bend your knees, step or jump to the front of your mat. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Again, you can do the slight bend in your back. Exhale, hands to heart center. Release your arms to the side. Take a few breaths here, roll your shoulders back, check your alignment. And then with your next inhale, reach your arms up again with your palms touching. Lift your right knee up. Exhale your hands into heart center. And with your next inhale, reach back your right leg into warrior three position. If you need some support, you can also take a block and place it underneath your shoulders so you can grab it with your hands. Try to focus on one point underneath your head and breathe here. If you next inhale, lower yourself into warrior two position. So your back foot is in 90 degree angle. Your arms are in one straight line. Your front leg is also in 90 degree angle. Your foot is facing forward. Make sure that you can see your front big toe so that your knee is not falling in. Your hips are pointing to the side, to the long side of the mat. And then breathe here. With your next inhale, reach to the front. Exhale, windmill your hands underneath your shoulders onto the mat into high lunge. Inhale, flip your body to the side into side plank and extend your arm up. Breathe here. Make sure that your joints from shoulder to wrist are stacked. 
You can either look up or to the front. And with your next exhale, place your hand back onto the mat. Inhale, extend your left leg on the right side of the mat. Again, create a straight line with your arms and breathe here. You can again either look up or to the side. With your next inhale, step back into downward facing dog. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath here. And with your next inhale, lift up your heels, bend your knees, step or jump to the front of the mat. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center, release your arms to the sides. Check your alignment, roll your shoulders back, take one breath here. And with your next inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center, lift your left knee up. Inhale, extend your left leg to the back. Into Virabhadrasana 3, Warrior 3. Breathe here. Make sure your upper body and your leg are in one straight line. And with your next inhale, lower your left leg onto the mat into warrior two, create a straight line with your arms and look to the front. Breathe here. With your next inhale, reach to the front. Exhale, windmill your arms underneath your shoulders into high lunge. Inhale, extend your right leg into side plank so that both legs are stacked. Reach your right arm up and create a straight line with both arms. Again, stack your joints. Look up or to the side. Breathe here. With your next exhale, place your right hand onto the mat underneath your shoulders. Inhale, extend your right leg to the left side. Into Patita Tarasana. Extend your left arm all the way up to create a straight line with your arms. With your next exhale, place your Left hand underneath your shoulders, step back into downward facing dog. Either stay here or do one vinyasa. Chaturanga Dandasana, upward facing dog and downward facing dog. Take a few breaths here. And with your next inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees and step or jump to the front of the mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Release your arms to the sides. From here, step your feet mat distance apart. Rotate your heels slightly inward. Make sure your pelvis is in neutral, your core is engaged, shoulders are rolled back. Inhale, reach your arms up, 
Lift your heels. Exhale, slowly lower yourself down into yogi squat. Lower your heels. And find a comfortable seat in Malasana. Take some deep breaths here. With your next inhale, place your right arm to the right side of your mat and extend your left arm all the way up. Your gaze goes up as far as possible. Twist through your spine, not through your lower back. Breathe here. With your next exhale, come back to center. One breath here. Inhale, place your left hand onto the left side of your mat. Your right arm goes all the way up. Breathe here. With your next exhale, come back to center. Take a breath here. And with your next inhale, place your hands behind you. Slowly lower your butt onto the mat. Then place your hands right behind your hips. Lift your shin parallel to the mat. Inhale here. And with your next exhale, lower your legs into a straight line hovering the mat. And your upper body goes back as well. Inhale up. Exhale, lower your body. 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 Few more. Three, two, one. Lower your feet back onto the mat. Extend your legs to the front. Inhale, reach your arms up. And exhale, lower yourself into Paschimottanasana. Seated forward fold. Either grab your outside of the feet or place your hands onto your shin or on the mat, wherever you land so that your back is still straight. Breathe here. With every inhale, lengthen your spine. With every exhale, lower yourself down a little bit more. With your next inhale, Come back into center, reach your arms up. Exhale, place your hands underneath your butt in a diamond form. Point your feet and then lower your elbows all the way onto the mat in 90 degrees angle. Inhale here and exhale. Release your head. Only do this if you have a cup formed with your shoulders so that you can relax your head into this cup. Otherwise, keep your necks extended and breathe here. This pose is called Matsyanasana fish pose. To come back out, first bring your head back, lift your upper body, remove your hands, 
From here we make our way into blow pose, halasana. Lower your upper body, place your hands, lower your hands to the side of your body and slowly lift your legs above your head. It's okay if your feet don't touch the ground all the way. Make sure that you can put a tennis ball between your chin and your chest so your chin is not on your chest all the way but there is some space to breathe. One more breath here. With your next exhale, slowly lift your feet up and lower your body vertebra by vertebra all the way into seated. Take one more roll and then find your way into Tadasana, mountain pose. Maybe reach your arms all the way back into one small back bend again and then exhale your arms all the way down to the side of your body. Check your alignment. Roll your shoulders back and then inhale, reach your arms up. Lift your right foot. Place your hands into heart center. Exhale, reach your right foot all the way back into warrior three. Take a few breaths here. With your next inhale, lower your right foot all the way onto the mat, back into Virabhadrasana 2. Warrior two, extend your arms, create a straight line and take a breath here. With your next inhale, reach to the front, exhale, windmill your arms all the way onto the mat into high lunge. Shorten your stance, inhale, half lift, exhale, forward fold into pyramid pose, Trikonasana. Breathe here. With your next inhale, lift your upper body, exhale, Step back into high lunge. Inhale, pivot your left foot all the way to the left side of the mat. Exhale, fold forward. If you want, you can step your hands to the front or come all the way onto your forearms. And maybe even lower your knee. Maybe untuck your toes. Lizard pose, Utan Pristasana. Breathe here. With your next inhale, come back up onto your hands. Pivot your left foot back to center. Exhale, extend your front knee into Adha Hanumasana, half split. Inhale here. Exhale, come back to low lunge, Anjayanasana. Inhale, bend your back knee, extend your left arm to grab your right foot. Breathe here. Inhale here, and with your exhale, release your back foot, place your hand underneath your shoulder, come back into high lunge and step to high plank. Exhale, shift your weight forward to chaturanga, inhale, upward facing dog, exhale, downward facing dog. Breathe here.
Inhale, reach your heels up. Lower yourself through Chaturanga all the way onto the mat into Baby Cobra. Untuck your toes. Check that you can lift your hands so you're not putting any weight onto your hands. If you want to come to Cobra, then place your hands next to your ribs and extend your arms all the way. But it's okay if you want to stay in Baby Cobra today. With your next inhale, push your body all the way into Balasana, Child's Pose. Engage your arms, maybe come onto your fingertips and then breathe here. Don't relax all the way since we're not done with our flow yet. On your next inhale, make yourself all the way back into Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Take a breath here. With your next inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees, step or jump forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach your arms all the way up. Maybe do a slight back bend. Exhale, place your hands into heart center and release your arms to your sides. One breath here. And with your next inhale, again, reach your arms all the way up. Exhale, lift your left knee. Inhale. Extend your left leg all the way into warrior three, Virabhadrasana three. Breathe here. And with your next inhale, lower your back foot all the way onto the mat. Rotate your arms open into a straight line, warrior two. Look to the front, inhale here. With your next inhale, reach to the front, exhale, windmill your arms all the way onto the mat into high lunge, shorten your stance, inhale, half lift, exhale, fold forward, Chikonasana. Breathe here. With your next inhale, straighten your back, half lift, exhale, lengthen your stance again into high lunge, pivot your right foot all the way onto the right side of the mat, maybe extend your arms to the front or come onto your forearms, or if you want you can stay up, bend your knee, untuck your toes, lizard pose, inhale here. Exhale here. Again, inhale here. Exhale here. On your next inhale, come back onto your hands. Straighten your front leg into half split. Adha Hanumanasana. One breath here, and with your exhale, come back into Anjayanasana, low lunge. Inhale, bend your back knee, extend your right arm to your left foot. Breathe here.
With your next exhale, release your back foot, place your hand underneath your shoulders, pivot your right foot back into the center, come back to high lunge, do one vinyasa, chaturanga, Udha Mukha Svanasana, exhale Adho Mukha Svanasana. One breath here. With your next inhale, come to high plank, exhale, chaturanga, your way all the way onto the mat, into baby cobra. Again, check that your hands can leave the ground. So you are not pushing your back up with your hands, but with the muscles in your back. This is also to protect your lower back. Breathe here. And with your next inhale, push yourself up all the way into Balasana. Extend your arms to the front, come onto your fingertips. Engage your arms, keep everything active. We are not done yet. One more breath here. And with your next inhale, find yourself all the way back into Adho Mukha Svanasana, downward facing dog. Pelvis lifts up, core is engaged. Head is between your upper arms. And with your next inhale, lift your heels, bend your knees, step or jump to the front of your mat. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, Adha Uttanasana. Exhale, Uttanasana. Inhale, Tadasana. Maybe do a slight back bend. Exhale, hands come to heart center. Release your arms to the side. Widen your stance, bring your feet mat distance apart, rotate your heels in and with your next inhale, reach your arms all the way up, lift up your heels, exhale, bring your hands into heart center, lower yourself all the way into yogi squat, lengthen your spine, breathe here. With your next inhale, reach your left arm up, place your right hand on the outside of the mat. And if you want, you can come into a bind. So bend your left elbow all the way onto your lower back and grab your left hand with your right hand. Look up, lengthen your spine, twist a little bit more, breathe here. With your next inhale, release the bind, come back to center. Take one breath here. And with your next inhale, place your left hand on the left side of the mat. Extend your right arm up and maybe do the bind on this side if you did it on the other side. You can look up if it's available for you and breathe here. With your next inhale, come back to center, release the bind. Take one breath here and then place your hands to the center of your mat. Sit down, place your hands behind your hips, lift your shin parallel to the mat. Inhale here for some abs, exhale, lower your body. Inhale up, exhale, lower. Inhale up, exhale lower. Inhale up, exhale lower. Three more to go. Up, two, one, release. Place your feet back onto the mat, extend your legs to the front and then inhale your arms up. 
Exhale, bend forward. Paschimottanasana. Again, if you want, grab your outside of the feet. And then inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, lower yourself down all the way. You can even release your head this time if you want to. And then breathe here. Let all the excitement from this class go and just focus on your breath, focus on the stretch. Maybe if it's available for you, you can grab your hands all the way around your feet, interlace your fingers. Inhale yourself all the way up. Exhale, place your hands next to your hips lower your upper body all the way down and then come into blow pose again halasana if it's available now you can place your feet all the way onto the ground underneath you and then breathe here make sure that your chin again is not touching your chest if you want to take your hands to support your lower back that's fine if you want to bend your knees into Kanapidasana, knee to ear pose, then that's the moment now. Don't forget to breathe. And with your next inhale, place your hands onto your lower back and then slowly lift your legs all the way up into shoulder stand. And when you have reached your highest point, then just stay there, breathe again. Chin has some space to the chest. And take the deep belly breaths. And when you're ready, slowly lower your legs all the way onto the mat, vertebra by vertebra, bring your back onto the mat, place your hands next to your body, make sure you can tickle your heels because we're doing one more pose here. So with your next inhale, lift your hips all the way up, make sure that your knees are not falling out Deep belly press here in bridge pose. Setu Bandha Savangasana. One more breath here. And with your next exhale, lower yourself back onto the mat, vertebra by vertebra. Take one breath in this neutral position. And with your next inhale, we are going to lift our hips one more time. In this pose, also make sure that your chin is not touching your chest. So you could put like an orange or a tennis ball or, or some same size object in between your chin and your chest. Breathe here. And exhale, lower your back vertebra by vertebra, all the way back onto the mat, hug your knees in. Then from the inside of your knees, grab the outside of your feet into happy baby. Make sure that your lower back is all the way onto the mat. So you're not lifting your butt up if that's not possible while holding your feet, then please only take your shins and breathe here. In Sanskrit, this pose is called Ananda Balasana. And 
is there to soothe you into the Shavasana that we're going into soon. So hug your knees back in. Inhale here. Exhale, lower your legs all the way onto the left side. You can look up or to the right side. Make sure that your right shoulder is touching the mat. If you want, you can place your left hand onto your right knee. Take some deep belly press here. With your next inhale, bring your legs back into center, hug your knees in one more time and with your next inhale place your hands back next to your body, exhale, lower your legs all the way onto the right side of the mat, either look up or to the left, make sure that your left shoulder is touching the mat, deep belly press here. With your next inhale, hug your knees back into center. Hug your knees all the way. Maybe you want to kiss your knees because you're so grateful for your beautiful working knees. And then squeeze everything in all the way. Squeeze all the gratitude in the world. And with your next exhale, release your body all the way onto the mat, onto the floor. Release your legs, your shin, your feet, release your back, release your arms, release your hands, release your head, maybe even release your jaw and your tongue, release the space between your eyebrows and then just take a deep breath in through the nose and exhale through the nose. Find your body slowly gaining some weight, pressing into the mat, letting go all the exhaustion of the practice, feeling the gratitude slowly rising in your mind. The lightness in your head, the lightness in your body, and then just breathe and let everything go.
Start to notice your breath again. Start to notice how your belly is moving up and down while you inhale and exhale. And then slowly bring some movement into your legs, into your feet, into your hands. Maybe wiggle your toes and your fingers. Maybe rotate your feet, rotate your hands. And then stretch your arms above your head all the way. Give yourself a big stretch. And when you're ready, roll on one side. Place your head onto the bottom arm. When you're here, think of the three things that you're grateful for. Bring them to your mind again. And when you're ready, push yourself with your upper arm all the way up into a seated position. Your head comes last. Come into a comfortable seated position. Place your hands onto your knees. Maybe roll your shoulders back. Take one deep breath. And bring your hands into heart center. Bring your hands into your third eye. Namaste.